let's not waste each other's time i know why you're here i recently got a very interesting dm it said satini i would like to come and work in the uk as an s aide however a lot of people are laughing and saying that being a nurse aide involves cleaning poop and there is a bit of stigma around this and i just wanted to ask do you clean poop as a healthcare assistant slash nurse aide well the answer to that question in a nutshell is yes we do clean poop <laughs> but the professional term is that we do not say we clean poop. The professional term is we change incontinence way. Now, before I get a little into a little deep into this, I'm just going to say one thing quickly. When you get paid working as a healthcare assistant, whether you're getting paid every month, every week, or every fortnightly, when you take your money to the shop, either to buy clothes, shoes, food, property, whatever it may be, your money is acceptable. Your money is not written, this money was gained or was attained from cleaning poop. When you go to the shop, they won't reject your money and say, look, we can't take this money because um, you gained it from working as a healthcare assistant, cleaning poop or changing incontinence way. You have to realize that it is your life, it is your future, if you are going to wait and hold on to people's opinions and what people have to say and people laugh behind your back and say, go overseas, all you're going to be doing is changing incontinence way. That's all you guys do. At the end of the day, the bottom line is that you will earn a salary and that salary, the buying power of that money is exactly the same value the um, the money the same one dollar you earn is the exact same dollar the person working in an office earns as well so you need to l let go of that stigma you need to close your ears to those negative comments and you need to look at your future and decide what you want working as a healthcare assistant changing incontinence way is not even 50 60 or 70 percent of what we do yes we do change incontinence way but that isn't what we do all day it's not like the whole day all we're doing is changing incontinence way it, we do do it but we don't do it the whole day our job involves a lot of other things as well these activities um these assisting with feeding there is data capturing at the end of the day. There is a lot of things that we usually do. Changing incontinence weight is just a small fraction of the work that we do. Now let's go in a little bit deeper. Maybe you want to work as a healthcare assistant, you've never worked as a healthcare assistant, and you're really like, I don't know if I'll be able to cope with changing incontinence weight. When I started out as a healthcare assistant, I did have I don't want to say that fear, but it was at the back of my head that, you know, how am I going to cope? Is this something that I can actually do and stuff like that? Well, here are some tips and some tricks um, to cope with that. To be honest, you might only think about this for the first day. The next day, it's not even something that matters anymore. It's not even something that you have to think about when you're doing. It's just another something else that is a part of the job. If you've ever sat with healthcare assistants or nurses, you will find us, you know, talking about bodily fluids and stuff like that. I'm, 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 I'm embarrassed to say this, even when we're eating. So it gets to a point where it's not disgusting. It gets to a point where it's just a part of the job and it's something that you're not even worried about. It's not something that is even in the back of your mind. It's not like at 12 a.m. you're thinking about it all the time. It's just something that you do. And like I'm not saying that it's something that we truly love and enjoy and whatnot. But it's definitely something that we do not worry about. The most important thing about this is that you're helping somebody else who can't help themselves at the moment. And even when you're assisting residents, they will thank you that, look, I would 
I really thank you for assisting me, for helping me with this. And it's something that makes you proud in a sense that I am doing something. Not only is it a job, but it's something to help somebody else as well. You must also think that being a healthcare assistant doesn't finish or doesn't stop in working in nursing homes um, or working by the bedside um, in a hospital. You can also work as a radiographer assistant. I worked as a radiographer assistant for a very short time. I didn't love it as much. I, I enjoyed it. There were certain parts of the job that I really enjoy. If you want me to do a video about this, please let me know. I might actually do one as I, I sort of enjoyed it when I was working there. So you can work as a radiographer assistant. I know not in all countries, but some places you can also, also work as a is it called a phlebotomist or phlebotomy assistant? Um, assistant should be phlebotomist. The people who take um, the blood. I know in certain in certain parts of Europe, you, with your healthcare assistant, you can just do a phlebotomy course, and you can actually work doing that. And it actually pays very very well. Um, I can do a video on that as well if you are interested. Um, it actually pays very well and it's not um, by the bedside all the time. Um, you can work as well as a theater assistant attendant, which is absolutely amazing and rewarding as well. And most of the time I find that most people, once they've worked as a healthcare assistant, later on they decide to take it a little bit further and to study nursing. This is a great way to see that, you know what? Is this something that I'll actually be interested in? Is this something that um, I'll actually be able to do? This is a great way to learn that um, and to decide that is this a career that you want to take long term. Being a healthcare assistant, especially in most parts of Europe, is actually a well-paying job. In the beginning, yes, the pay may be a little bit, mm, but most of the time, if you are especially for people who are coming with the healthcare assistant visas, their salary is already put at a, you know, good enough number. But for people who are already in Ireland, if you change jobs, if you go and work um, with an agency, um, if you go and work in a hospital, if you go and work in a theater, you actually end up with actually a very interesting, good salary. So, it's a definitely a well-paying giving job. So you definitely, one could say it's definitely worth changing the incontinence way. By the way, if you like money, why not like this video? It does my channel a whole lot of good. Well, that is it guys. If you're interested in finding out how much I got paid um, in my first job as a healthcare assistant, I will link that video somewhere up here and you can check that out so that is it for this video guys i would really appreciate it if you liked subscribed left me a comment it really does my channel a whole lot of good also as well if you can leave me a comment on what content you would be interesting what content would you like me to put out i would definitely love if you would do that thank you so much and i will see you in the next one Bye bye